Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 6 and the finale of the Wolfsburg career mode. Now you're probably wondering, you're only 6 episodes in, why are you finishing this series now? Uh, as you can see I'm only in November. Um, the, the reason behind this is because I just don't have the time to be running free career modes on my channel. I thought I was going to be able to do it, um, but I just don't. Uh, I don't have enough time to play all these career modes in the same time. Um, so unfortunately, this is the career mode that's going to have to get cut short and ended earlier. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is actually run through the rest of the season by simulating every game. Uh, sorry to the people that actually do enjoy watching this series, but I just don't have the time to play three different career modes. They're all three different, three different teams, three different levels of uh, team. Um, so for that reason, I want to focus on two whilst also trying to stream again, um, which is obviously going to be difficult um, in the upcoming days. Obviously, this isn't a full-time thing, this is just a hobby, um, but I do want to be pumping out the content for you guys. So, that being said, unfortunately, this is the one that has to get sacrificed. Um, I did enjoy it for the nine games that we did play, um, but for the rest of the season, I'm going to simulate. Um, I think I might simulate like three, maybe two or three seasons, depending if we get sacked or not. Um, but for this this season, that which we the first season, I'm going to simulate most of the games now live, and then I might do the like maybe get to January and then uh, simulate to the end of the season, and then go from then sign some players and then maybe do a couple more seasons to see if we can get in the Champions League or win the league, stuff like that. So. Thank you guys for the support on the channel uh, so far this year. You know, um, I have really enjoyed uh, making the videos and stuff. Obviously, start of the year wasn't hasn't been the greatest start of the year for me uh, in my personal life, as you've seen in um, my one of my kind of videos uh, a few weeks ago or a week ago. I don't know when this video is going to go live. Um, so yeah, um, that's why I've been I've kind of been away, keeping a distance from uploading videos. But now. Uh, it's been a, f a good, good few days since, obviously, um, yeah. Since uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really like talking about it, but yeah, since uh, the passing of a family member. So <clears throat> I'm gonna, obviously, I'm back making videos now because uh, I want to grind out the year, and um, hopefully, it will be, uh, it will be good to us. So moving on, we got Dortmund in the first game. Uh, of November, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the first game of November, and it's the first game of the simulation, obviously, you know, Dortmund are pro probably one of the better teams, and then Tep gets injured straight away, which is not good, Alcacer puts them up 1-0, uh, here, against us, we're at home as well, which is very annoying to go down 1-0, and Alcacer gets another, 2-0 down, not good, not looking good at all, can we push on and get an equaliser, Witzel gets a red card, but I think it's too late for us to get anything from this game. We unfortunately lose 2-0 away at home to Dortmund. Which, you know, it's, it's not good. We should be winning games like that. Um, moving on to the next game. As you can see, Intep got injured. I just realised that. Um, we're, we're fifth, you know. It's not too far behind the uh, pack, you know. Most most of us are all on the same points. Um, anyway, moving on. Hanover, away. Can we pick up a win? I don't know where Hanover are in the league. I don't know if they were near us or um, if they're down the relegation zone or they're mid-table or in the top half. I didn't actually check the standings. They go one and up in the first half. Um, Fossom there getting the goal, which is uh, not good for us. Can we get an equaliser? Mali, Mali missed the penalty. Oh, God, that's going to come back to bite us, isn't it? End of the game. Can we get a goal at the end? No. That penalty miss has cost us a lot there, which is very, very frustrating. Uh, moving over to the next game. I'm going to go through the calendar because it's much quicker to do it this way. Uh, Leipzig is our next game, um, which will be a tough game for us. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a disaster and we just crumble and uh, end up getting in the sacked or in the relegation zone or something like that. Um, we're still ninth, you know, it's not too bad. Now, can we move on and get a win against Leipzig. Um, eventually when we get further down the line uh, I'm going to just go into the sim games and skip them. Unfortunately we do go 1-0 down against Leipzig. Bruma putting them 1-0 up in the 15th minute. Can we get an equaliser here? We haven't actually, have we scored yet? I don't think we've scored yet. 
so far since I've started this. Um, you know, it's one nil still. Is anyone going to get an equaliser? Oh, Brickello, one one. Let's go, one one against Leipzig at home. I'll take that. They're a tough opponent. Um, they're sixth. We stay in ninth for now. Um, our next game is not till the second of December against Frankfurt, who are eleventh. As you can see, we've got a game in hand against most of the teams above and below us. So this could be interesting. We've stayed in ninth with the games that did get played. So hopefully we can capitalise on that and push forward in the table. Away game against Frankfurt. They are, um, I think, two places below us. Um, they've got a very good, uh, strong side. Brickello putting us up 1-0 there in the 19th minute. Really happy with that. Um, can we keep this lead? And Tep 2-0, let's go. That means we've got a two-goal advantage to hopefully not throw away. A lot of cards in this game so far. 2-0, can we keep this win under our belts? Yes, we can. Really good result there against Frankfurt. 2-0. Pushes up the table, hopefully. Okay, we've gone up to 8th. That's not too bad. Uh, moving on to the next game is against Hoffenheim, uh, which will be another tough game because Hoffenheim are a good side, um, as you all know. Hopefully, we can get a win here. So, what I'm going to do, because obviously um, it's taking a while, I'm going to just go into the games and sim them uh, straight off the bat, and then we'll discuss uh, briefly for each game. So, this one, a one-all draw, Sanson getting the goal there. Uh, not the greatest of results, but against Hoffenheim, I mean, it's not that bad. Then they're, they're a decent side, so I will happily take that. We're sat eighth, you know. Um, we're doing all right in this league. Obviously, having to sim these games and uh, just finish off the uh, career mode this way is obviously not what people would want to see. Um, but like I said, I do have my reasons. I just don't. I just don't have the time, and I can't focus on three career modes at once. You know, it, it, it's kind of. Um, it's just not working, and I'm I'm always ending up leaving the Wolfsburg career modes whenever I'm um, like uploading videos. All you see on my channel is normally Cardiff or Yeovil or other videos. I haven't really um I haven't really uploaded much Wolfsburg career modes as we draw one one again. Only picking up one win since we started this, uh, which is not good. Um, we're into the cup now against um, Ingolstadt. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it properly. I don't want that job. I'm just going to keep simming on. Uh, I'm not interested in international jobs at the moment because obviously this is um, going to be a brief um, season finale, if you call it like that. Um, moving on in the cup. Hopefully we can go far in this. Yes, we can. Dijon getting a hat-trick there. Nice. 3-1 uh, winners there against Ingolstadt. Now we move on. We're still ninth in the table, not too bad. Um, who's this against? I think it's Augsburg, yeah. Augsburg, we've got an injury or a red card. We've got a red card for one of our centre-backs. Uh, put Broomer in. Uh, I'll have to put him down down here somewhere. Let me just put another centre-back there, just so I don't uh, lose out on uh, the position. Um, so, moving on into the next game against Augsburg. Um, I'll probably s finish this. I'll probably do the Jan January and then sim from January to the end of the season. Uh, just because I find it a bit easier. Anyway, we've got another red card, which is not good. For my left back as well. Really, really not good. Unfortunately, that means uh, another player is out and is suspended. I've got a lot of emails I need to get rid of. Obviously, oh yeah, the German league has a break over like, the Christmas period, doesn't it? forgot about that anyway uh, let me just get rid of all this I don't need any of this um, to be honest um, don't need any of that don't need any of that all that there we go all right when is the next game next game is you know what I'll do it from now I'll do it from now we'll go to the last game of the season against Augsburg okay we're gonna sim to there and uh, once that is done I will uh, jump back and we'll watch this uh, sim game before the end of the season so I will be right back Alright guys, we are back on the last day of the season. Hopefully, this hasn't gone completely wrong. And we actually have done something good. We have got a 91... Okay, we're fourth right now. And we've secured a top four finish. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. Because at the start of the season, um, they wanted us to finish mid-table. And we're in the top four. So, um, I am pretty happy with that. Not going to lie. Right, we're going to go to the last game. Can we move up the table? We can't obviously win the league, but we can finish third. So, hopefully, 
we can finish third. And um, wow, I just don't, I can't believe that. I was, not, I was expecting us to be like bot, like near the bottom, because I chose to simulate the rest of the season. Um, wow, that's that is crazy. And um, for this first season, hopefully we can finish off on a win. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't want this to go the way that the the career mode was going to end. But um, wow, um, that is crazy and we are one nil down which is quite worrying we're not even looking like we're going to score at all Bruma in 80th minute pulls one back can we get a late winner no okay we draw the game that does mean we finish fourth in the table which does mean we get a Champions League spot for next season so that is very good 85 million pound in prize money um, let's go have a little look at the squad and check out the player ratings and stuff like that. Uh, let's look at the stats first. So most goals, Brakello got nine goals and thirty. Okay, to be fair, we got we didn't have any outstanding players in terms of goals, but we had a lot of players that got nine, 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 eight, eight, five, five. You know, there's quite a few um, players. So if we go in terms of like rating now, uh, no, let's do crucial at the top. Um, and then we'll go have a look at everyone's rating. So the keeper stayed the same rating. Luke de Jong stayed. Sanson went up two ratings in his first season at Wolfsburg. Brooks went up one. Uh, Camacho didn't go up. Gilavogi did not, and he's on a bad form. Brickello went up two. Uh, very, very good player. I did enjoy using him. Cutrone, uh, uh, or Cutron, Cutrone, he went up two. Stefan stayed. Mali stayed. Ntep went up one, Arnold's went up two, uh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, Blazkow, she's getting old, so he's going down ratings. Uh, the left back went up one, uh, this young centre back went up one as well, so did this young centre back, um, and Bruma, and Tete, the right back, which we signed. Uh, this centre back, he must be, I think he was a rotational centre back, went up one, so did uh, William, he went up one, uh, and then about, I think, everyone else didn't really play, so. With that being said, you know, I have enjoyed this Wolfsburg career mode, uh, but unfortunately I did have to cut it short, which, you know, it's not what I wanted to do, uh, obviously, didn't want that to happen, um, but what I'm going to do, just for, just because why not, I think what I might do is simulate through one more season, now, I'm going to do that afterwards, actually, no, 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 no. Right, I'm going to end it off on a good note because we did, in fact, I'm going to keep this career mode just in case I come back and revive it. But at the moment, I'm going to have to call the career mode there. We finished third in the league. Oh, wow, we finished third. Uh, what was that on goal difference? Yeah, it must be on goal difference. Um, we finished third in the league. Schalke came second. Bayern came first. Who got relegated from this career mode? That would be interesting to see. Freiburg, Dusseldorf and Nuremberg pretty standard. Dortmund came 8th which is quite shocking to be fair um, but other than that, you know I did enjoy it for the short time that it was around. Unfortunately I want to focus on the two career mode series which I probably enjoy the most and that do well on my channel um, so thank you guys for all the support on this series. Hopefully in the future I could maybe come back and restart one in this FIFA or maybe next FIFA, I'm not too sure um, for now, I just want to focus on two career modes. Um, it's easier for me to record, edit, and upload um, consistently with two career modes instead of three. I hope you guys understand. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the series as a whole and the overall finish. You know, fit third in the league is not bad. I think it's very good for us. And yeah, subscribe if you are new. And if not, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.